north, south, east, west of Deal Milk Gang. Y'all already know how it's going to go. And to the ones on their first time log in, welcome to It's Milk TV. Now, come on. So, first of all, how are all y'all doing today? Hopefully, y'all day is going good or have went great. Now, let me know below. Now, look, we on the road to 200K, but I noticed it's a big percentage of you guys that's unsubscribed recurring viewers. I mean, you watching the videos on the daily, but you ain't hit the subscribe. Now, you don't want to be one of those for too long because they end up in the Gilligan zone. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Now let's get it on. I got sent a link to a video and the title is like t Rail's baby mama get confronted and pressed over what she said about Milk 7 Now we gonna go, we gonna log in and we gonna see what's the script, come on. Yeah. Get on our side, but it's all good. I never told you, but the other day when I was at Joanne's picking something up, I was going into my car, and this guy walks up on me, and he was like, "Like I'm, I'm holding my box of candles, right?" And then I turn, I go to the car, and I turn around. I'm parked right in the front. I turn around, and he's right here, and he's like, "Uh, yo, like," and I was like, "He's like, can I talk to you?" And I was like, "No." And I opened the thing, and he was like, oh, no, like, I really want to talk to you. Like, can I talk? I was like, no, I'm married. He was like, I know. I know who you are. And then I was like, okay. And so the door opened. I put the box. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I think Joanne is t rail mama. So you was pulling up to t rail mama crib. I don't know where t rail mama live. Like, I don't know if she stay in a good area, great area, okay area, a bad area. I don't know if she still live in the 50s. Now, t Rail is wrong. If he got his wife who's on the internet, bro, who's like an internet personality, he's wrong. He, it, Something wrong with him if he letting her pull up to the 50s, if that's where she was at. In the 50s, he wrong for letting her pull up over there by herself, bro. Ain't he crazy? Because everybody and their mama going to be trying to holler at her. Other people might trying to be do other people might be trying to do something to her. You gotta move more strategically. You're not like a nobody to the internet. Your face is all on the internet. You gotta move right. Or that can cost you your life. And he started walking up on me and I was terrified, y'all. I thought my heart was racing. I'm like, oh my god, he's about to do something to me that's how i felt so i'm running i'm like oh i'm scared of you like i feel like you're about to do something to me what and i got hurried up got in the tesla you said that yes i'm like i feel like you about to attack me or something for real that's right okay and, and i know i said what but i mean she did what she was supposed to do if you feel like somebody is about to snatch you <laughs> or do something to you as a woman <laughs> you should start screaming hey help Hey, look, right here, over here. You should try to make as much commotion in a scene as you possibly could to be seen. So hopefully somebody could come over there and help you out or be aware of what's going on. So she she played that right, bro. Oh, I'm scared right now. Hold on, back up. Cause he was walking up on me a little too. He got to me too close. And he was like, no, I'm from 57th and Hoover and this is this. And I really don't like how you be talking about all that white shit because I'm white. I'm like, okay, Milk 7 Fo. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Is and then, that right? right? He was like, I know Milk 7 Fo. I know his whole family grew up on this on block. This is this. I really, I'm Who really is that? this shit. Like I used to go to Coco. They, this is telling me all the streets, right? And I'm like, okay, this is okay. But he's like, but I really don't like how you be talking about white shit he's like i don't know how you grew up or this is this but i'm half white and I'm, and I'm half black and i grew up over there like i was really in it and his eyes started watering and he's like and i'm really about to get him now somebody pushing up on her and pressing her and telling her down like what she be saying about white people and he know milk seven foe and he really from over there and he grew up with my family and all that that could be anybody. I mean, not saying that ain't nobody that I know, but anybody could say they know me. Like, they, they could say that. Like, when you a young kid and you claiming a set and you ain't really from the set, you might say, oh, I know, whoop-dee-whoop, that's already from the set, but you don't really know them. But you might try to say, 
I know them to sound cool or to or to fit in or to make people think you certified. So people say stuff like that, bro. But let's continue. Come on. Because I don't know if it's God or what, I but look. I was watching back on Fig last night. I'm like, okay, he's back on Fig fan. You might be all I right, look. bitch. You might not. He was a white guy. He was kind of fit. He had on like a navy sleeveless uh, top and like shorts. And he had a ponytail, like kind of like fear-ish vibes. And he's ain't vitals? Uh-huh. Now, with everything she just described, she said the dude approached her, told her he from off 57th and Hoover. Now, we know it's not no 5-7 Hoover. That's not a click. But him saying he's from 57th and Hoover, he could be saying, man, that's the street I'm off of in the 50s. That's where my people live, got a house. That's where I grew up at over here. Now, Smack asked her what he looked like. She said... The white guy that said he was mixed with black and white. Kind of fit with a long ponytail. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. That description fits one of my homies. It fits an individual I know. My homie White Chocolate look like that. He's mixed with white and black. He got long hair. And I think his mother is from down there, down that way in the 50s. So that's why he would say he's from 50, he's from off 57th and Hoover. So the individual that she's describing, that's a real person. That is a real individual. Now, I was like, man, is this story capped? Is they just thirsty for attention? But she looked like she was really in fear and tripping. <laughs> Man, Trail, man, you got to get it together. How do you got your longtime fiance just being able to be approached like that, bro? If you sending her to the slums, man, you better give her a gun or something. That's Gilligan activity to send your wife. <laughs> wow. 57th Street or something. And so he just kept talking, right? And he was like, no, because I've seen people get shot up in their car. And I've seen, like, it really goes down over there. Like, I really grew up in the set. And I'm like, trying to listen to him. But my foot's on the gas. I'm ready to fucking go. Because I'm like, are you going to put... And then he was, like, digging in his pockets. I'm like, are you going to shoot me right now? I was so scared. But I'm like, he's a back on fig fan. Had to try to be... I would... My, it was just... My mind was... Just, I couldn't even listen to what he was saying. I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he was, like, crying. That's the bourbon side of you coming out, huh? He back on fig. And he doesn't appreciate my white slander and i'm like you know i'm white I'm, my mom's white he was like yeah but the white shit and i'm like the only person i've ever called white in my head i'm not talking to him or telling him nothing in my head i'm like the only people i'm talking about white is fucking probably adam or like i said stead's dad was white or something weird right how you so ain't gonna like, mention that you didn't mention really me affecting you like that in your mix like i just didn't get it but i'm just like okay like I could, as time went on, I can tell he's a fan and he couldn't believe he saw me and he went to talk to me. The next like, time. he couldn't believe he saw me. And I had went all the way to Simi Valley. Psycho! The next time motherfucking around the phone, you better let us know. Oh, so it wasn't in L.A. It was in Simi Valley. It was in Simi Valley. That's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't be thinking like, oh, I'm in Simi Valley. And ain't nobody gonna know me or ain't nobody out here that can approach me or I'm cool. I, I should be able to be calm and collective and comfortable. No, 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 no. Because you lucky the individual, like I said, oh no, that could be one of my homies. Because that description fits him to the T. But I don't know who that was until I could confirm it, G. But it could have went left. Things really could could have could have went bad. It could have went real left. Like you could have been left on the floor or threw in the back of somebody's truck, bro. Tighten up. You gotta tight. You better tighten up. If you want to see my valet, you better take your baby daddy. <laughs> no, this is what he asked me. He's like, "Are you alone?" That's why I was scared. He's like, "Are you alone? Can I talk to you? Are you alone?" And I was like, "Psycho, oh, drive off." Probably, probably, probably I should have drove off. What are you talking about? 
He probably was like, you by yourself? I'm going to get at Terrell if you that, No, he's like, no, because niggas have jumped me before and this is this. And I'm Jesus like, what? You want to make sure you're comfortable before approaching Yo, somebody I potential terrified. woman. I'm like, I just get my candles somebody and try to get the fuck out of here. I swear to God that happened. Why would I lie about that? Nah, that description is kind of crazy, like, though. What the fuck, man? Come on, man. I'm you should have like, got out of there. Oh, yeah, I'm gone. I don't have no questions. Why are you even talking? I See, know. that's the white slide come out. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know niggas ain't from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm, I'm like, scared, and a nigga doing some I'm shit. Talking to myself out loud, talking to myself in my car, like, oh my God, I thought I was about to die. <laughs> Oh, like, she that's that's that white shit. No, I really thought I was about to die because he was like, "Yeah, I see people get shot up in their cars all the time." I'm like, "If he's crazy, he might get his gun out and shoot me right now." Like that's how scared I was. I'm and not even was, waiting around for that. Thanks. I'm not. I don't even know if I. But you gotta do it. You, you just gonna have, have to start all airing it out. In his pockets, and I'm like, "You gotta do it." Cause I'm starting out. Come on, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all tell her what's the but deal. But that's why he scared me scenario. because he's like, are you alone? Are you alone? Are you alone? Can I talk to you? Oh, my. I'm like, no, I'm married. Walk no, like, faster. See ya. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, and that's what I did. I hurried up and got him out because I was out my car when I ran to my car. So he was close to you. He got to you fast. We were passing. He was coming in and I was coming out and I had a box and I opened my door up and he stopped there. And so when I turned around to put it in my door, he was still there. And he was like looking at me and it's like, niggas try to talk to me before. So I'm like, thought he was, I was like, oh, like put it in the car or whatever. And he's like, can I talk to you? I was like, no, I'm married. Yeah. He's yeah, like, I know, scary. I know who you are. Yeah, that's scary. And I'm like, okay. And so he's like, can I talk me? to you? Because we've been beefing all week, so that's, what? that's just what it is. You ain't been talking to me all week, so oh, I can't not... share that with you. <laughs> so, so it's it's both going on in the castle <laughs> right <laughs> now, right? <laughs> 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 hey, what 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 the only reason you ain't got touched because I ain't sent the word. Nah, look. Heather got to tighten up on her program because things could have went left. Everybody is not level-headed. Um, some people just gonna go. Like I said, you could have ended up on the flow leaking. You could have ended up in the back of a car, a truck, tied up, barely breathing. Because your longtime fiance, your baby daddy, didn't want to go with you <laughs> to see my valley. You can't be going anywhere by yourself. It's real, it's real out here. But what I don't get, if she just had this situation, she just kind of got confronted and low-key pressed about me and about the slander she be saying about white people on that podcast, homie. And you didn't tell your baby daddy. You didn't tell the OG Fidos Hoover Crip. Hello? You didn't tell him that you got confronted and the dude said he was off 57th and Hoover and his stumping grounds? Maybe he would have wanted to figure out like who it is. Let me go do some research. Let me go put some homework in real quick and see who this is. Let me press up on him. Let me see what's the deal. Why would you not tell him? And that situation is real. Like, it don't matter if y'all not talking for a few days or if y'all not seeing eye to eye or if you got issues with him at the moment you still need to let him know because what if that individual want to take it a little further and say man x her out man we going for him we want him now but if you would have told him the situation that just took place then he'd be on his p's and q's he would be tightened up he wouldn't be slipping he wouldn't know that this could potentially happen it's coming, Loke. Like, so that's crazy for her not to tell him. Then I start thinking, you got people like me. Okay, well, if she ain't told him about this time she was confronted, what else haven't she told him? Have different people that he know tried to holler at her? Have she held conversations with people? I don't know. I would just be thinking some crazy stuff, but she was shook, scared. That suburban side of um her was coming out she talked different on these podcasts she was scared but i mean she should be she a woman but to some degree you should still be able to defend yourself in these type of situations you got to know how to move and stick and move and get your groove on or do what you're gonna do you got to be able to defend yourself too 
But look, y'all let me know below. And don't be no unsubscribe recurring viewer for too long because you will end up in the Gilligan zone. Hit the subscribe and the like button. I'll see you at the next video.